Hi guys, it's me, Mr. Burtosh, your incredibly handsome science teacher. And in this video, we are going to talk about why it is important for engineers to consider the weather and plan for the weather when they are designing structures. <music> engineer is a fancy schmancy uh, type of scientist who designs and builds things. They're like inventors and they build all kinds of things and engineers are really really important to our modern civilizations because without them things that we built would like fall apart right We need people who understand how to build really strong, and safe structures. There are some amazing things that have been built in the modern world, like ginormous roller coasters and bridges. There's a bridge not too far from where I live that goes over the New River Gorge, and it's one of the highest bridges off the ground. It's just massive in the middle of West Virginia. It's really in, it's in a national park. It's really a neat bridge. Of course, there's the Golden Gate Bridge and others that are very famous, uh, Brooklyn Bridge. And then there are these amazing skyscrapers that are, you know, hundreds and hundreds of feet high that are, I guess, scraping the sky. And all kinds of other amazing structures like stadiums and, for that matter, homes, right? They may not be big, but we have them and they protect us and they're cozy and we can sit in our homes and on a rainy day and be protected from the weather if the engineer who designed the structure accounted for the weather conditions. So you can imagine why it would be pretty important that an engineer thinks about the weather when they are designing a structure. If you are going to build a very tall building, let's say, maybe a skyscraper, and it's in a really windy area. But even if it's not in a windy area, still you might get wind, that you're going to get wind sometimes. And so it's kind of important that the engineer thinks about how the wind is going to affect that building and how that building might sway a little bit back and forth. And so they need to build mechanisms and in their design include ways that the stress of that wind doesn't uh, cause their building to collapse, maybe, or whatever. Uh, bridges need to have the ability to withstand the wind and also the rain. And there needs to be ways to divert the water off of the bridge so that people can safely drive over the bridge. And of course, your cozy house on a winter day while it's snowing outside and you are cozied up under a blanket by the fireplace, you wouldn't want that snow to come in through your roof and leak on you and mess up the book that you're reading. So you need to have your house designed by an engineer who knows how to create a roof that is waterproof. Engineers are special types of scientists, kind of like inventors, who understand how to build structures that will withstand the conditions where the structure is being built and who can account for those conditions and create a structure that will withstand them so that it endures for many, uh, many decades or even centuries or even sometimes thousands of years and uh, not fall apart or fell when a weather event occurs.
Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. These rambling science videos where I go unscripted and just kind of barf up all the science knowledge out of my head are part of a series that go along with an online class that I teach, which you can sign up for if you go to handsomescienceteacher.com. I also have a whole bunch of free resources for homeschoolers. I have uh, hundreds of articles on every topic that uh, covers your entire science curriculum from fifth through eighth grade. I have online games and quizzes all curated and written by uh, this handsome guy, uh, a science teacher with, well, three, three degrees, but two of them are in science. So it's uh, targeted right to and directly to your, uh, your science students. So sign up, subscribe to the channel, and I release lots of videos. Also, in addition to these ones, lots of little uh, short videos that are like two minutes long that cover science topics. Those ones you don't get to see my handsome face, but they're still good videos and they're much more targeted and those ones are scripted. So you don't have to hear me like you are right now going blah, blah, blah. The end, uh, subscribe, thank you, goodbye.